Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about how you can move and rotate in 3D. When you move object in 2D rotation in the past course, turn such left and right or up and down were acceptable to use because all movements were associated with the sides of the driving area. Even when you rotate the views, it was so that you could rotate movements to the screen more easy. Working when you're working in 3D, however, those terms are no longer easy to translate from your intent to proper movement of the screen. Let's take the front door block out. For example, if I told you to move it forward, will you mean into the house, away from the house or toward to the bottom of the screen? You can see what the problem is. When the wipeout is, is significantly different from what you may expect, say from the bottom or the back, then front of the back, maybe be even more confusing. So I'm going to tell you about how to use the first right hand rule. To help you stay oriented in 3D space, the UCS become more important. Each colored axis of the UTS icon points of the positive direction for that Practical axis. To understand what whatever a movement, particular in the Z axis, is in the positive direction, you will be familiar with the first of two right hand rules. The first right hand rules relate to your hand to the UTS and helps clarify the axis direction. Start by e extending the thumb and uh, index finger on your right hand to form an L shape. Then project your middle finger perpendicular to your palm, as shown in these pictures. The rule states, when your thumb is pointing in the positive X direction and your index finger is pointing in the positive Y direction, your middle finger must be pointed to the positive Z direction. Okay, thank you for your attention, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in the next video.